Okay, in Paddy's Golf Tips today, we're going to talk about how the torso and the shoulders move in the golf shirt. The winner of the gold medal and the champion golfer of the year is Podrick Harrington. Probably the first thing to understand is in the golf swing, after you take a natural posture, again, a natural posture is your arms hanging. We don't want to get too rigid. We certainly don't want to be hanging out there. The shoulders don't turn horizontally or to the hips. That, that's sometimes a lot of people, they're trying to turn their shoulders this way. The shoulders actually turn in this manner. So it's like a pulling motion. So watch when I turn my shoulders. So I'm not trying to turn horizontally. I'm trying to turn them up. So my right shoulder is coming up, my left down. Now, watch the structure. When I turn, okay, nice turn there. Now remember, I've left my hip go, because if I kept my hip in place, I'd have a shoulder turn like that, which would be no use. Most golfers want to get their shoulder at least to the golf ball or a little bit to the right of it in their back swing. So watch, I let my hip go, you can see my shoulder turn, okay? Now, that shoulder turn, if I actually bring it back and show you the structure, that's where I am. That's how much curve and side bend I have at the top of the backswing. So there, so you can see that's, so I started in a position with a slight tilt, but I side bend. So as I go around, this is dropping under and it's curving this way. So it's curving all the way up here and even more as I get up higher towards my, towards underneath my armpit here. So again, I'll show you, I turn up and if I turned around and showed you that structure, that's how much it's bent. I've, side bend it that much in the back swing, okay? So remember, don't turn vertically with your hips or horizontally with your hips or your shoulders. It's a turn up, your right hip goes up, your right shoulder goes up, and you have a little bit of, of side bend like so. And guess what? As you move into your left side, the shoulders, your, your, your torso, your spine, your back moves down towards the target. And from here, it's very much the reverse. So on the backswing, it's like starting a lawnmower. You pull the, the cable like so. And in the downswing, once you've sat into your left side, it's again, the left shoulder's pulling up. The left torso's pulling up. And your right side is side bending. So again, if I show you that as I've come in. Now by stretching up my left side, left torso, left shoulder, that's how you get open. You don't get open by turning. This only brings your hip out and you, you won't open up at all or anywhere near as much as you will by stretching up because that pulls everything open and it gets you into that position that we all want to see. If you looked at that down the line, you'd see there's a gap there between my legs. My torso is quite open again towards you guys. So I'm down, I'm in, then it comes up. My right side stays down and again, you can see how much I've stretched up this side. The left side stretching up, the right side is pushing down. That motion, like so. Now again, if I do that at impact, so up again, you'll see, if I came around, you see how much I've, to get down to the golf ball, my right side has bent down there. There's quite a bit of curvature. That's dropped down, the elbow's dropped down, and the left shoulder's gone up. I'm not that. At impact, so I've stretched up. I'm only slightly open with my shoulders, maybe 10 degrees. It's my torso is the bit that's open. You know, that might be 30 degrees, and this could be 45 degrees, maybe 35 and 45. So you can see up, and that's what opens you up and gives you the power. But your right side must stay down. You cannot, everything can't come up. So your right shoulder can't come up. And you certainly don't want to get the feeling of turning like this because this right hip will come out to the ball, which is powerless. So you always want to get the feeling up and down, which will require side bend. So you should practice with quite a bit of side bend and side bend. Okay, unfortunately, that will generally make you hit a cut. You just have to get used to getting the wrist in the right place with that side bend. So again, up, side bend down, up with the left shoulder, side bend down with the right. 
that's what there really is. That's all there is to the to, to the torso. Okay. You do want to separate the hips from the torso and the downswing, but it's not a good idea to try and separate the hips from the torso. It's actually a very natural thing to do. To, it, it's it's evolution to separate. So somebody who gets to the top and tries to spin, not a good idea. They will naturally move out of way, especially if you're getting this stretched feeling. Especially if you get basically the longest you can get from your left toe to your left shoulder is is good as long as you have that right side bend and you're staying down in it and that will give you a good powerful position and yes you're going to have to match up your wrist action to counter that because most people when they drop down for side bend will leave the club face open and hit a cut which isn't great for most handicap golfers but if you're a better player it's certainly a position you should be getting into again and then getting the wrist and one good way of doing that just if you're looking for a drill for it you know this is a Pete Cowan drill is get a golf ball take a nice setup and throw the golf ball so hold your putting your right hand right down playing a right-handed golfer and throw it into the ground about two yards in front of you to go straight so if I did that down this line you will see so you can see I've kept my right side down to throw it and my left side is accelerating up. So onto the camera here. Make sure I don't hit my cameraman. You go, yeah. Okay. So you see, I hold my right hand, go to the top, and throw it. Okay. You can see that's accelerating up as that's staying down. It's crucial that this right side, right elbow, right side stays in the shot down there as that accelerates up. And that's the correct motion for your torso. It's definitely not this way at the top and it's definitely not this way going through it's up like if you were punching me into the ground punch pull just like that push pull that's all there is to the torso movement and the shoulders